It's always an exhilarating feeling whenever we open a season here at the Philippine Basketball Association. But this year, today, here and now, is even extra special as we bring you the action over CS9. Ito po ang ating bagong network, CS9, dito po sa Channel 9. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat and welcome to opening day of the PBA, yes, the call of the Filipino Conference, as we start, as we said, our broadcast from CS9, marami rin pong pagbabago, hindi lamang sa ating television service, but also in the PBA itself. I'm Ed Pixon, and together with Kenito Hanson, we're going to be bringing you the very first game of this season. And Kenito, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of changes, a lot of uh, very innovative uh, things happening around the PBA. Oh, we're in for a very exciting season. 34 season ito ng PBA. At unang-una, pakusapan natin yung mga rookies natin. We've got 18 solid rookies moving in. 16 of them were drafted last August. We've got 15 veterans who've moved teams. Kanya, very unpredictable little season ato. In fact, no, uh, no less than the commissioner, Sunny Barrios has described this season to be very unpredictable. A competitive balance that is napakaganda. Wala ka tulak gabigin, mga kaibigan sa mga teams ito. Umpisahan natin uh, ang ating pagsubaybay at pagtugaygay sa iba't ibang mga kupunan. Let's start with Air 21, Kinito. Let's talk usapan natin ng Air 21. In the last Philippine Cup, they finished number 7. They lost to Coca-Cola in the wild card. Ito po ang kanilang team roster. So that new players in Kinyahan and Chora Villanueva. Now, it's interesting that this team was number 1 in turnovers the last Philippine Cup. So they need a leader on the floor. They got one in Chora Villanueva, who was a assistant coach with LaSalle in the UAP last season. Kinyan, of course, gives them the bulk, the size, because they gave up Gabby Espinas and Irving Soto, both of them now, with different teams. We all know, of course, Air 21, an exciting uh, season or conference, the, the last one. We go now to the Alaska Aces, one of the teams that we know over the years have really gained the respect of the Filipino basketball fans. Well, Ed, a lot of people are saying Alaska is going to be the team to beat, the conference nato, no? Ranked number four in the last Philippine Cup. Their uh, total record last conference was 16 and 12. But remember this team lost to Santo Lucia that eventually won the All-Filipino Championship last, uh, last season in seven pulsating games. Then they lost to Red Bull in that battle for third place in the Philippine Cup. Now, for Alaska, they brought in new players. Through straight, Joe DeVance has moved in. Mark Borboran in the year mm -hmm. 21 is also there. And Kelvin De La Peña. They have addressed certain issues that Alaska has lacked. They need players, they need size for the shooters, they need players who can play within the system of Coach Tim Jones, Tim Triangle System, and they've got two very good-looking players in Borobora and Kelvin Del Pena who fit the bill. And of course, what can you say about Joe Devan? Yeah. He is a franchise player, and Coach Tim Jones looking for size, looking for someone who is very versatile, he can dunk the ball, he can play inside, he's almost a two-it-all player, and he's going to be a good compliment to Sunny Cox. I like him, he's a good looking guy for the last two years. Alam natin mga kaibigan, one of the new teams here in the PBA, the Rain or Shine, Alaska Painters. Unbelievable revamp for Rain or Shine, and a lot of people are saying that this could be the team who will break out this season. No? In the last two seasons, in the PBA, but since they moved in from the PBL, ang uh, dating well coach uh, team, and ngayon, na ang uh, pangalan nila, Rain or Shine, looks like uh, they mean business. They're serious, they've got six new players, and uh, we'll name them for you. First of all, there's Andaya, and mm -hmm. you see them in, uh, on, your, yep. on the screens, and Jerome Hensito. What about T.Y. Tang? Eddie Lauer coming in from, uh, from Alaska, and uh, now, Let's talk about their rookies, Sol mm. Mercado, and the league's oh, number one overall one. draft choice, yeah. Gabe Norwood. So six new players here for Rain and Shine. They are out to make a run for the championship. Of course, one of the teams that are, is always uh, in the uh, thick of things, and also a PBA, are the Red Bull Caracos. Ano ka nangyari ngayon sa Red Bull? Number three sila, the last uh, Philippine Cup. And uh, their season record was 17-11. Now, meron sila mga pagbabago rito. No? Unang-una, hindi na natin nakikita mga pangalan ni Topet Robinson, Big ni Paolo Pugia, Nick Finisi, at saka si Mark Andaya. So, mm -hmm. wala na sila ron. No? Um, this was a team that was worst in second chance points. So, they need to be able to address that issue. And uh, as far as they're concerned, they brought in some new players. Larry Rodriguez is there. Si Jeff Chan is there. Gabby Espinas coming in from Air 21 gives them size and bulk. And of course, there's Paolo Hubalde and Koshi Angiao, always looking for very versatile players. He likes combo guards, players who can play multiple positions. 
One of the most popular teams in the league, uh, San Miguel Beer. Well, big additions here for San Miguel because they have gotten size. Now with Nick Penizia, Jazzy J. Washington, and to the draft they got Bon Bon Custodio. We don't see the name of Chris Calagio in the lineup of San Miguel, and that's because Bon Bon Custodio is there to play the two-card spot. So with Ken Bono, and uh, they've got uh, Dorian Peña and Mike Pingris, this team now can battle for those rebounds. Alright, uh, siyempre pa mga kaibigan ang inaabangan ng marami ang Barangay Hinebra, Jim King. Well, Barangay Hinebra won the championship in the last Fiesta Conference, but that was because they had Chris Alexander playing the center spot. But in the old Filipino conference, they slid to number nine spot. Now, Hinebra, you take a look at their lineup, this is a team that is hurting. Michael Giwa is not even the country yet, and he's rehabilitating in Los That's Angeles. Safe, yeah. That's right. And, uh, but they've got Mike Walter, who has been reactivated, and he will be a big help, especially underneath the boards. Support for Eric Meng. The new player in their lineup is Jinju Tabato, who came in from Alaska. And, of course, one of the teams that a lot of people know has a very uh, good history here in the PBA, the Pure Foods DJ Giants, Kidito. Well, for Pure Foods, uh, we know that they finished second place in the last Philippine Cup, Tinalo Sila ng Santo Lucia. But this is a team that is also in transition. Walana Sinoy Castillo. Wala na si Rey Evangelista, wala din si Andy Larong, si Amanzi Rodriguez, si Brandon Cablay, wala na rin. But they've brought in a lot of new faces. They've got five new faces in Chad Alonso, Bo Pelga, who's a major presence now in the inside. They've got Jonathan Fernandez, who's an outside shooter. They've got a very pesky guard in Topex Robinson. And uh, I think that makes for a nice mix, a nice new mix for the Pure Foods uh, Teddy Juicy Giants. Our defending chapters for us are at the all Filipino, the Santa Lucia Realtors uh, always uh, out to uh, create a surprise or an upset. Well, Halos Burasin and Pinaliran did so roster nila, no? Because they brought in only um, one player, Kelvin Rogorio from the draft. Otherwise, talagang wala silang uh, masyadong... Uh, Completo, eh, no? Oh, Completo sila because, well, you don't, you don't change what uh, doesn't need changing. Yeah. They, <laughs> did win, uh, they did win the championship in the last All-Filipino. But partner, no? They, are, they were number nine in second chance points in the all Filipino conference last time out. So this is a, a, an area of concern for Coach Boy Fernandez. Kelvin Gregorio is an inside player. He will be able to give them a lot of offensive rebounds and putbacks. And we'll give you a lot more here at the opening day of the PBA. Uh, at the bagong season, we'll be set up also CS9. We'll be right back. Okay, Chan. 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 Okay,